Okay, sorry about the tuber once again, but never mind. Um, this is looking nice, but now I've not got to get the detail on there. Um, I'm intending to put a nice little run around here of um, aluminium flashing, which will make a nice edge, but that's going to be the last thing I'm going to do. I have to put the railings on around here. Um, I have to install these. I've made these out of flashing and I've bent them to size, but I'm not going to do them yet. You can see the hole here where the, the, the um, turret's going to turn and the, the arm that's going to lift and lower the turret is sitting on that, on that uh, half round piece. So what I need to do now is I need to make the um, railings. Now these are some of the railings that I've broken off another part which will go back onto that part. So I have to make something that looks something like this and I'm not going to be able to just reproduce this. So I've got an idea about how I'm going to do it. What I've got here is 0.8 of a mil brass and I've drilled one hole in here. My, my lathe tools are just endlessly handy because they are the height that I want this to be on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this around and then I'm going to bend another wire and bend it in. So the whole thing really is held in by two wires. And then I'm going to put all of the other wires in. Alright, so I've pushed that right in. This is going to be the end where I'm going to have another vertical piece. But what I want to do now is work... whoops. Oh, great. Perfect. Okay, a couple of minutes later I've managed to bed all of these railings in and I've marked those and I've now just continued to mark these because so I'm going to work to what I've done as opposed to trying to get something amazing together which follows a plan, but by using these I should now be able to install the other parts. So, so what I know is I want Something on there, something on there, and with these I'm going to go for the narrow um, drill and make these as close to the accurate as I can. With the other ones I'm going to open the drill out because I've got room to play. You'll see what I mean in a moment.
carefully clamp this in place. Now we add a smidgen of super glue to both ends. I'm going to leave that now. So as you can see, this is this is a black elastic material. I've just super glued a little corner on there. That's all actually loose. I've just gathered it around. Tomorrow, I'll pull it around and just put little tabs of super glue on those. These have worked out really bad, really really lovely at the stern, as you can see. So this stretchy stuff is really perfect. I can stretch it around. And then, um, using a tiniest touch of super glue, fasten these into place, and they look pretty darn good, I've got to say. Once it's all painted, they won't stand out at all. Alright, this is it. Now, finally put in place. I've adjusted everything out, and this is the propeller, and I'm now using the radio control. So we have very nice turning, um, elevation, Lovely. That is magnificent.